What's going on everyone, it's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and today I just want to quickly cover the new special enhancements and so that is under enhancement menu and then special enhancement. So as you know now we can enhance magic stone, spectrumite, spirit treasures, and mystical pieces. Now, things to keep in mind about this. This is similar to dragon armor, meaning that even from going to plus one you have a chance at a failure or a great failure. And of course a great failure will be destruction of your item so uh, if I put something in here you tell me I'll start with plus zero so at zero you have a 50% chance of success I believe if you add an epic oil of blessing it is uh, additional um 10% for these where it's 5% for the other ones so given the price of these and I'll show you that in a minute it's not worth it um so unless you get one from a drop somewhere or something I mean it's really not much of a point in doing that um, here you pretty much have a 50-50 shot at one. Now, if you fail, you have a chance to either do a regular failure or a great failure. And so what that means is if you have a regular failure, your item will stay as it is. I don't believe there's any chance of reducing the um, the actual layer level on it. But upon great failure, the item will be destroyed. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, so far, I, you know, I can see, you can see I've been doing some upgrades here. I did destroy two uh xp treasures um i have one more spare so i'll probably try again on one of these maybe for in this video and then i did you know go a little ballsy and go ahead and upgrade my uh pvp treasure as well and so you know the, it's 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 a cool little thing um it really comes into play more so on like things like the spectrumite spectrumite here will gain actually a decent chunk of stats and then like the stones you get a legendary stone which I mean these are dropping quite often in the raids and stuff I'll talk about that in a second uh, you can get some pretty nice boosts out of here um, I think if I was gonna try something I'd probably try maybe my XP stone um, see if I can get a boost on this although I mean I do sometimes we'll use it uh, uh, I mean you could go in a PvP set but there's not really much that it replaces right now um, but that PvP damage reduction is nice um, by the way I could get a boost out of this um, and then there's, you know, you can get ballsy and try to enhance some of your better stones, like my, uh, my awakening stone. Um, that really comes down to your, what, what your preference is. I, you can see here, I did get plus one on this, and this was a really ballsy move. You upgrade this stone, it had double crit attack damage boost, it had crit, and it also had all attack damage boost. Uh, it's pretty, one of my better epic stones, of course. Um, the, uh... XP boost on like stones like your uh, growth stones on epic is only like 0.45 uh, not a huge difference uh, you get more of a difference out of the um, treasures so the experience treasures you get basically a percent for each upgrade and as you can see here I did hit one two three four five five of my XP stones um, so all of my spirits all my XP spirits and so with that I gained about you know like six percent um, which is a little bit more once you add in the vigor. Um, so that was a nice little pickup there doing that. And in that process, I did break. Now, what happens if you break? Right, you can get some items. On the epics, is not that not that huge. Um, you can see here I have 17 of these epic treasure shards. Like I said, so far I've only I've broken two treasures. Um, they aren't different for whatever you break. They're all the same. So whether you break a stone or epic uh, mystical piece or anything, it's always these epic treasure shards. Now, if you break a legendary, you'll get legendary shards, but you can have a chance to get some other items. Now, for the epics, when I broke them, I got some blue Norsol herbs. Not a huge deal. I mean, most people have a surplus of these. So I did get some of these and some ice crystals as well, um, which is nice. But the beefy piece comes in when you get to legendary. And a lot of people have some legendary treasures that are kind of trash. Um, if you get up the dark steel and the stones to do it, and the dragon steel, then it is kind of worth going in and breaking those um, treasures. The reason being, you have a chance to get some epic Norsol herbs, the red ones, as well as like some epic ice crystals, and also these shards. Now, what can you do with the shards? You come in here to the crafter in Arcadia Spirit Village, the Bunny Guru Hoppy, and you can craft these different boxes. Now, stone, you have a chance if you break like two stones or or two treasures. You uh, have a decent odds of getting enough shards from two of those to craft another legendary. 
Um, so that's a pretty nice deal to pick up, like a, a, another legendary stone to try to get a good, decent set. Um, another option here is mystical pieces are a little bit harder to obtain. And as you can see, it is reflected in the crafting material. So for an epic, just an epic mystical piece, you'll need 150 epic shards and 15 legendary shards. Again, since it doesn't take much legendary to get this, um, one or two, I mean, you could theoretically get this in breaking one legendary treasure. Uh, then, you know, this is not too far-fetched. Like I said, though, I did break two treasures. So thinking that, you know, I have to break up to 15. Hopefully, maybe it ends up averaging around 10. Still quite a bit of dark steel and stuff to get these shards. But, you know, the fact that it's really hard to get an epic mystical piece anyway, this is actually a pretty decent deal in my opinion. Now, this one, on the other hand, you would have to break a lot of uh, legendary items to be able to get a legendary uh, mystical piece. And I don't even think you can get the special ones in here, or can you? No. So you get the standard ones in here. And that's to me, is not... Uh, this is not worth 300 shards. I mean, I'd rather craft, what, 4 times 3, 12 legendary, 12 legendary magic stones over trying to craft a legendary shard. This, on the other hand, I would probably go for... Like, granted, I could I could craft a few of these, but I, I would go for this. I feel like this is kind of worth it. Spectrumite as well. I mean, I have a Spectrumite. Spectrumites are more farm are definitely farmable, so I don't know if I'd really bother with Spectrumites. That's an option as well. But again, 200. Uh, it this one's uh, again a little far fetched in terms of is it is the value there? I'd say probably not. I'd probably again stick with. Uh, legendary stones like i feel like for most people especially free to play uh utilizing this system to eventually get, be able to get these shards and craft the legendary stones is going to be the best bet so that's that now as you can see here also on this vendor there is a purchase and this is one thing i missed early on but besides getting those um stones from uh raids you can use your dragon steel here and you can get the epic ones for just one dragon steel and still you know it's kind of Still kind of hurts period like you using dragon steel but it's not a bad deal um this is a terrible deal um to get a small very small boost 10 yeah 10 percent chance boost on crafting if it saved the item from breaking this would be worth it but the fact that it just gives you a 10 percent boosting percent chance that's not worth it at all especially not the legendary 200 forget that a uh, legendary stones boost up to five I mean, it sucks. Um, plus, it's like two million dark steel to upgrade, so eh, definitely um, a bit of a pain here. But um, still, some it's a way you can just get them without having to spam the raids. I, I thought at first we were going to spam raids to get these stones, um, but that is not the case. Uh, which is why you saw all those plus ones and plus twos on my epic treasures. I was using. I just bought some stones from here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up maybe like uh, five more just to hold on to. Uh, I'll do a couple upgrades here. Before I do that though, I'm gonna just say, in terms of dragon steel, because you do need dragon steel for this, Master of the Gathering is a lot better now, um, and you can get, I believe it's 150. Someone told me, um, no, actually I think it's more. So it's 100, then 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. You can get 200 dragon steel if you get both uh, packages. If you just get the one, I think it's, that's where it's 150. On just this one or you can get 50 on this one granted all the other rewards in here are um, mostly decent but some of them are really great uh, if you have both you get two attempts at a uh, you know plus eight or something or you know most people are going for plus eight with the um, the rare things I'm still trying to go plus eight I've done three or four attempts now on my offhand I still cannot get my offhand and try to make an epic but it is what it is. And then, of course, the Epic Norsal Herbs are great as well. Um, so, overall, I would just say, hey, that's a great deal now. Um, you should definitely look into that if you need some Dragon Steel. And then, of course, they've been doing some discounted packages with Dragon Steel. I would not buy Dragon Steel with Hydra straight out. Um, it, it's just, to me, not worth it. Um, you still got your Spectrumite you can use to get Hydra, uh, or, sorry, uh, Dragon Steel as well. Now the raids real quick let's talk about that as you know they did add the stones to all of the raids boss raids as well no i didn't mean all of the raids uh, i think it starts at starts at hatchery cave yeah starting hatchery cage and above hatchery cave and above 
Um, and then Steel Bone, nope, Nefarious King and above on boss raids, and of course the new Hell Raids. These new Hell Raids are very, very nice. I posted one video, uh, just kind of the gameplay of Fire Dragon Demon. Uh, I will try to record another Fire Dragon Demon and be a little more specific about what you should be doing. Um, but you should be able to get most of the mechanics from that video. And then we did this Triumphant Tiger Demon today. Uh, we did a group of 120 plus. I think that makes it pretty much simple. You could probably go with some people that are less. Um, and I'll create another video when we do that again. Um, I think it really comes down to you have less people than those lower people like below 120. Probably just need to stay on the towers. Um, but I'll talk about that. There's no healing towers in this one. Uh, there's the, the mechanics are actually different from the first one, although it's similar in the fact that you still need to take out towers. Um, so I'll record that. Get some details there. Um, we have not attempted the 140 yet. Uh, I don't I don't know if and when we do it. But I will say this. We had someone today that picked up a, um, a rare dragon armor from this raid. Where they show the dragon armor pieces? Yeah. So they showed the epic one here, but uh, we had someone get a rare crown. Um, so hey, this is these things are awesome, man. There's no reason why you shouldn't be doing all your daily tasks and make sure you get a ticket for this each day and doing it, even if you do the fire dragon demon. Um, you should be doing this every day. These rewards, some days you get crap, but some days they're actually really good. Um, this is a great addition to the game and a great source of materials and things, uh, especially in terms of the newer materials. So that kind of covers that so again if you go here to the special enhancement you need to kind of be a little wary of what you're doing so you know i got a little bit of dark steel right now so let's see something i might want to risk um these stones are not the best but i am using them for the crit tech damage boost um there's the pvp aspect on them i really should replace uh, a couple of these at least on my non-pvp set um, I'm not going to risk that spectrum right, right now. I need to farm up to make sure I have some kind of backup. Um, because I definitely haven't been saving any rare ones. We have the treasures as well. I could go for another quick plus two. This might show you guys what the fail is like. This one is plus one. Let's just go ahead and give it a shot right now. Can I get an extra percentage here? Um, this screen is a little misleading. It says that, uh, treasure will be used up regardless of success failure. Or the materials will be used up regardless of success failure. Here's the interesting thing. I thought we were supposed to be able to use the duplicate treasures to do this. Um, I think they might have just changed up the system a bit. But anyway, when enhancement fails, target item is destroyed. This is not the case. It's only when it's a great failure. Do not let this fool you. Let's see what we get. As you can see here, I got a regular failure. The item is preserved. It did not go reduced at all. It just stayed plus one exactly how I had it. So I'm kind of glad that happened. I do want to show you guys that, but it does use your 500k dark steel, which is a real pain, man. They are trying to drain our dark steel like crazy. Um, so that's the failure. What can I give another go at? I mean, I could upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade one of my XP stones. That is, you know, a decent one. Like this one's actually pretty decent for some attacking. So you know, I want to get more efficient in my farming. Let's go ahead and I don't know if we want to go that one or this one. 1.8, 1 1.4. So this up, you can see here, it is a, actually a proportional increase on these percentage stats. On this one, crit attack damage boost is giving me 1.8 versus this crit attack damage boost is only going to give me 0. 0.9. That's actually a little bit, that's kind of interesting to see. Here I can pick up some more damage, damage reduction. Maybe I'll go for the uh for this one or this one. Uh, this is more PvP oriented, a bash damage reduction. But I think we'll go for let's go for an XP one. Uh, I think we'll do my uh. Let's see, this is gonna give me how many stats? Let's go for this bad boy right here. See if we can get a quick enhancement on here, or if it's gonna fail. Failed, but I didn't preserve it again. Boy, I tell you, it's scary because I really don't want to lose these stones. Um, but at the same time, you guys, you, you, we're, there's no reward without the risk. So let's give it one more go. Dang, I am not having a good day here. So 
let's try this one more time oh there we go okay so here's the destruction you see here i get eight treasure shards this time i got six blue north star herbs and some uh ice crystals so that that actually hurt a little bit um but it's okay i have another treasure i'm gonna get it out of the warehouse and uh now the question is do i want to risk upgrading that i think what's gonna happen is uh, instead of going for plus one on that i will wait and um I will wait and do that when the treasure event starts but hopefully i pick up another one or two in there should pick up a decent chunk of epic treasures out of that event like i did for epic stones i have some stones here matter of fact is this one eh, no it's not really better i do have a hunting xp one though i might try to upgrade that stone one more time um i got two xp ones in here actually so yeah i could try to give that another go but let me go ahead and stick this back on my uh, spirit. And which one? It was Bioho. As you see, you do lose the uh, treasure. So. Let's go ahead and do one more shot. Let's special enhance this stone one more time. Let's try to see if we can get a success for the video. Nope, I'm out of dark steel. Man, this is hurting, man. It's hurting so bad. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Go ahead and do that. And craft and forge enhance. Special enhancement. And this stone right here. Get that boost right. Come on now. There we go. So we got a success. Uh, as you can see here, the enhancement levels, it doesn't get, you know, very much bigger um the increases stay the same on each level so there you go uh stay going from zero to one is 20 is 50 percent chance going from one to two is 35 percent chance now uh one thing i think i did notice here is for like spectrumite you need two stones and i think it's the same thing for uh mystical pieces they kind of value these at a different level so you need two stones and one million dark steel so keep that in mind as well guys if you have any other questions if i missed anything please let me know down in the comments uh if you're enjoying the videos make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed you hit the subscribe button turn those notifications on i'll catch you in the next video